This vending machine is literally for cars. You can buy that car just by putting that coin into the vending machine. It's kind of like any other vending machine. You can just select the car you want and then out pops your car like a baby. But it's just a car. I want to buy a car for the sake of being able to buy it from a vending machine. Like, I don't even want a car. I just want to be able to, like, pop my big coin and get that. The only problem is you can't really test drive the car. And it's, you know, the car, it's not a small purchase. It's not like you're going to a vending machine, buying a bag of chips. You'll forget about it in a week. This is a car. You have this for a long time. It's a lot of money. People save up for this and you're just going to pop your giant coin. Where does one get the giant coin? At this vending machine, you could buy lettuce. Actual lettuce. I would never buy lettuce from a vending machine, but that's probably because I don't cook. Hides in shame. Don't don't judge me. I just wouldn't buy lettuce from a gro- I also wouldn't buy lettuce from a grocery store. If you thought that was weird, I'm about to weird you out a little more. You can buy underwear. In case you know, you forgot to wear underwear today. I don't know who's leaving their house and forgetting to buy underwear, because I have never done this. Call me crazy, but like, I always remember the important things, like underwear. In this vending machine, you can buy gold. Real gold. I don't know who's just like, walking along, having their day, and being like, I really need gold desperately. I need it so desperate that I need a vending machine. It needs to be convenient. So he's selecting $500 worth of gold. I'm kind of curious to see what comes out, okay? I mean, obviously it's gold, but like, how much gold is $500 of gold? Okay. The moment of truth. What? That's gold. He just spent $500 in that? I would have already lost it. Even before I took it out of the package, it would have been gone. Disappeared. That was everything. Can't be responsible for $500 worth of gold. This is a vending machine for hot pizza. Or when you have crippling anxiety and want to avoid human interaction at all costs. Kind of relatable. <laughs> Oh, that's expensive. Is it? I don't know. Would you like your pizza hot? Yeah. Who eats pizza cold? Other than when it's a leftover. But it's, you always want it hot. So how does this work? Is it just like a frozen pizza in there that you pay and it gets heated up and then you get it? It's cooking real fast. Two minutes. Is there a microwave in there? I really don't know how this works. Oh, it's boxed and everything. Bro, this is sick. Okay. We got a little, little pan over here. I want to see the deliciousness. The deliciousness! Okay, this pizza it will be mine. Well, it won't. The way I avoid human interaction, I just Uber Eats it. I mean, you still gotta answer the door. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I was expecting some crusty, dusty, nasty stuff coming out, but you know, I would gladly devour that. It would be my pleasure. Oh, yes. All the pizza for the win! Oh, delicious! I want it, I want it, I want it. This is a vending machine for live crabs. Oh, is this like, okay, they're alive. Are they comfortable? I guess, okay, so the vending machine keeps them at a temperature where they're very immobile. So I guess they're like half asleep, but still. They're alive. Like, I want to go find this vending machine and literally save them all. I want to go broke to save all these crabs. I mean, they're just going to refill it the next day because I'm making the people rich. But I feel bad. How do you guys feel? Some people are just going to be like, you know what? Crabs are delicious. And they are. But they should still be in a tank, right? There's a lot of weird things you can get in vending machines. But you know what you can't get that I really want? These onesies. <laughs> How cute is this? I'm so fluffy. I love it. I have literally never been warmer. Thank you One Piece for sending me these onesies. And they've even been nice enough to give you guys 30% off if you want a cozy onesie. Are my socks dirty? Who cares? I'm wearing a onesie.
One Piece for supporting this channel. If you guys want to get a onesie use code ASZY, make sure all the letters are capitals or it won't work. Link is in the description. Let's continue this video. Coca-Cola has this vending machine. If you give it a big, warm, beautiful hug, it gives you free pop. Free! Who doesn't love free? Everybody loves free. Look, you hug it and it's just like, here you go. Bam, bam, free pop. <laughs> what was that hug? He was like, I want extra pops by like putting my leg around the machine. Just like... Uh, that guy, yeah, he's trying to get like four pops. Group hug? Did they get like ten? <laughs> so cute. I love this. Ah! But like, won't it run out eventually? Where is this? I kind of want to go. I mean, kind of. I really want to go. Why am I downplaying it? Like, I don't even like pop. I just want to oh. give it a hug. A hot dog vending machine. Yep. Are you even surprised at this point? Like, I was kind of hungry, but this video is sending me over the edge. Who would even design this? Are they trying to replace hot dog stands? What's it gonna look like? It looks good, but I mean, like, can you even mess up a hot dog? I, I kind of think it's impossible. Like, you know how they say nothing's impossible? Messing up a hot dog is impossible. <laughs> if I can do it, anyone can do it, even a vending machine. This is a self-driving vending machine. It drives itself through neighborhood to neighborhood looking for people to use it as a vending machine. This is just ridiculous. It's like, you don't have to find vending machines. They find you. Are they really trying to replace hot dog stands this bad? Have I uncovered a conspiracy? Mm. A war on traditional snack vendors. These vending machines are out to get you. Like, think about this for a second. Nobody is in there driving it. It's driving itself. Is this safe? See, the kid wants a hot dog. You're just gonna let him stand there? Rude. I wouldn't have let that kid not get his hot dog. See, I should open up a hot dog stand. Like I said, I could make a great hot dog. Also, somebody could literally rob this. Nobody's there to protect it. What does it have? Like, anti-theft lasers? This is the biggest vending machine in the world. It's a whole store turned into a vending machine. So anything you can buy at this store, you can buy at this vending machine. The possibilities are pretty much endless. They look happy. I want to be that happy. <laughs> there may not be hundreds of aisles to walk through, but there are hundreds of pages to scroll your little fingers on. What's worse? Look at this. A vending machine with Beatles! I saw these in Japan and I'm just not down. I just don't know why. Why are there beetles in vending machines? Are they real? Are they fake? Pretty sure they're fake. But regardless, who wants the beetle? Who wants a fake beetle? Who wants the real beetle? Nobody wants beetles. Do they want beetles? I mean, clearly people want beetles because there's a lot of beetles in this vending machine. Like, I didn't even know beetles could be so big. Are these too scale? Because then I'm concerned. This needs to be everywhere. A vending machine that gives you umbrellas. You know how many times I've been out? And about and it just starts raining and then it sucks because I don't have an umbrella. I could use one of these. This is so handy. I mean it's only handy if you live somewhere where it rains. This vending machine going out of business in sunny states and countries. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye bye! Also, don't forget to watch another video. Bye!